What is going on everyone, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to rename a column from a VAX data frame in Python. As you can see here, I've already imported the VAX library in Python with import. And my second cell here, I'm just importing my data set I want to work with. So I just used the open method and assigned it to my df variable, which stands for data frame. And the file here we're working with is an hdf5 file. So this is a massive 12 gigabyte file. Just to show you how many records it is, I'm going to do data frame .shape and pass in zero. I'm going to back 1.46 million rows in this one data set. And as you can see here, it loaded instantaneously. All right, so let's just inspect the data to see what we're working with and find which columns we want to rename. So I'm going to do data frame dot head and I'm going to put five in. So this is just going to show me the first five rows of my data frame here. All right, so we have a total of 18 columns. And let's go ahead and rename our passenger count to be passenger count total. So to do that, I'm going to head over to a new cell here in my Jupyter Notebook, and I'm going to now add in df. So we're going to use the rename method, which is rename. And now we're going to pass in our parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the name of the column that we actually want to rename. So I'm going to put in passenger underscore count. And the second parameter is going to be the new name we want to rename it to. So I'm going to call it passenger underscore count underscore total. And that's it. So I'm just going to run this cell. And the output you're going to get is the new name of the column that it has been renamed to. So if we want to quickly inspect the results, I'm just going to add DF and hit enter. Now if we inspect the results, as you can see here, our passenger count has been renamed from passenger count to passenger count underscore total. Now, one thing I want to point out here is about if you attempt to run the rename function twice in a Jupyter Notebook, for example, I'm going to run it again, I'm going to get an error. And why is that? Well, because when I ran it the first time, it actually renamed that column. So if I run it again, that column no longer exists. Now there's an optional parameter we can use to ensure the uniqueness of our column names. But before I go into that, I'm just going to reload the data into our data frame again by rerunning that cell. So the optional parameter to ensure the uniqueness of our new column that we're renaming it to is called unique. And we have to make sure that is equal to true. Now, because we know that passenger count total doesn't exist already, let's pick one that we know already exists just to see what happens. So let's say if I attempt now to rename it to be payment type and I run this line of code, what you see is our output is actually payment type underscore one. So this method actually now detected with the uniqueness equal to true that payment underscore type existed. So it added underscore one to ensure the uniqueness of our column. Now, if we check out our data set again, we're going to now see payment underscore type and payment underscore type underscore one exist. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful for renaming columns in a VAX data frame. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on data integration and data engineering. If you think I missed something, please leave a comment below. And if you want me to cover another topic in the future, please leave me a comment as well. See you next time.